The Birdman's Flock, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Over 40 now, American black ducks and some Canadian geese. We're out of cracked corn, so I gotta give them a little bit of this wheat bread. And uh, it's not necessarily good for them, but it's not gonna kill them, it's just a filler. But I feed them so much good food that this little bit won't hurt them. And I'm just doing it so they still feel low because I do this every day. But we're out of cracked corn. They go through 50 pound bags a week and it was $12 and change a bag and now it's up to 15 and some bag. And uh, it's getting expensive because they eat two bags a week and that's me managing it. So if anybody locally ever watches these videos or wherever and you'd like to contribute and buy some crack, 50 pound bags of cracked corn to continue this process, feeding wild animals and uh, the flock, just contact me and uh, we'll be more than grateful to uh, get some cracked corn and continue what we're doing here because it does get expensive and uh if anybody locally wants to come out and uh join us in what we're doing here you're more than welcome to contact me and we'll set some up and come right on out to the property here and we'll let you walk amongst the geese and all the, the american black ducks and the mallards and even feed the big turtles and the snappers and the turtle lake and uh if I'm out here with you, they know me and my voice, so they'll come right up to you and some of them eat out your hand and put crack corn in your hand. They'll eat right out your hand if you want to bring your children along. And uh, we had a few kids out here and they all seem to love it. And I uh, get to educate them a little bit on the background of these birds and where they come from, what they're all about. And uh, especially Canadian geese, they get a bad rap and because uh, they're territorial and their geese excrement, which is their big green poop. But they're not as bad as what people make them out to be, obviously. And you see me walking around right here with them. And now they're always going to be doing this, shooing around amongst each other. But they never bother me none. I guess they know I'm the, the flock leader, I guess. Or nonetheless, I'm the one with the food. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they don't they don't bother me none at all. And uh, if anybody comes out here, you'll, just be, you'll be just fine. They ain't going to bother you either. And, uh, but yes... As you see, I just walked through over 40 American black ducks and over 40 Canadian geese. Rather I have food in my hands or not, and they're so used to me having food every morning and afternoon. So even if I don't have food, they think I do. And I got to literally at this point show them my hands empty. They say, hey, I don't have any more food, and then it'll start to go away. Other than that, they'll try to follow me right in my house or in the cabin. I'll stay in out back. A little getaway. Oh, the big pretty birds. And this is the call I do for them for the Canadian geese. The look, 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 look. Do that, and they come from miles. And the little American black ducks and the mallards, I go, <laughs> Here, don't want to talk to me. And American black ducks, again, their plumage, they look male and females look almost identical. One's a little darker than, uh, one's a little darker, one's a little lighter. The males have a yellowish green beak and our uh, bill, and the females have a dull green beak. Canadian geese. Males have a bigger diameter neck. Like that right there is a big male. Bigger bodies, heavier body, bigger diameter neck. Females, like uh, this one here, has a smaller diameter neck, smaller body, even though that's a younger one. That's also an adult female back here. But yeah, they're everywhere, guys. Literally everywhere. Oh, he is my boy. I see you, big boy. Huh. 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 Oh, you gotta behave. You're going too fast. Look at all my babies. All my pretty birds. All my pretty birds, huh? All the pretty birds. I don't have no cracked corn. We gotta go get it. Huh? We gotta go get it. And then, of course, we still have all the turtles. They'll climb right out the water coming up to him here. Look, they are all following me, man. I told you. I'm the flock leader, where I'm just the guy with the food. <laughs> Either way, they follow me everywhere, even when I don't have food. It's kind of kind of cool to see and, and experience, honestly. And like I said, it, oh, 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 no. <laughs> That goose just splashed water all over me, and then he and then I threw my balance. See, he threw my balance off. I was standing. I was actually just standing right here when that happened, and he threw my balance off, and I almost fell in that water right there. <laughs> and I actually jumped off balance, one leg from there to there. Pretty. I guess I got lucky on that. 
That would have not been cool. I was just coming out here to feed them real quick. I didn't want to get covered in water and fall in the river yet. I fell in the river before. I tried, we had some a uh, couple Russian women out here last year, and they tried to go out in a canoe with me. And uh, yeah, they got a little off balance, and um, we went swimming in a deep part of the water, way over there. And what was crazy is I just got done being told by a couple of local dudes. That's when I moved out here. And I got just these couple of local guys said, hey, man, be careful over here, guys. There's a, a pocket of water, uh, water moccasins right here by the dam. And sure enough, that's exactly where we fell out in the water. And I look over and I got a bunch of water moccasins curled up in a little ball right next to me under the water. <laughs> or they were on the land by the water. Where I was under the water. But anyway, pretty crazy. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. These turtles come right up to me. Oh, here you go. Hmm. You come up here. You don't want it. Look at my big turtle. Huh? Oh, my big. Oh, look at you. You are just a crazy one, huh? You bite my fingers off. You gotta go. Oh, wait. Chew that first. You gonna chew? You go by here. You bite my fingers off, man. You gotta calm down. You gotta be easy. You can tell the newer ones. Cause they act crazy, and some of them will start being a little gentle. Don't hurt. I mean, I'm used to it. I don't got soft hands, I guess you could say. I did run a professional landscape and design company for 11 years before I sold it. So let this boy eat. I got to go get some more cat food, meat-based cat food. That's what we like feeding the turtles out here. Some turtle pellets, and I gotta get some more uh, wheat corn. Or, you know, and cat corn. Look at him. Boy, you trying to get my attention, big boy? Oh, uh, get it, big turtle. He always does this. Yeah. I gotta get him some meat based cat food. You get it, big turtle. That's a wild turtle, too, guys. That's not a pet. He's a wild turtle that just knows me. All of them. That's why we gotta get him some meat based cat food. Yo, right under you, buddy. I see y'all. I'm coming. There you go. I'm coming up here. Alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this off and uh, make some more.